efficient versus effective. Do you know the difference? A lot of people don't. Today we're looking at easily confused words. These two words, efficient and effective, are often confused by non-native speakers and native speakers sometimes too. Let's try and put that right today. So if you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name's Rob. I'm an English teacher with the Balkan School. We're a language school in the French speaking part of Switzerland. A lot of the topics we cover are linked to the French language and the errors that occur from that. But I'm sure if you're a speaker of another language, a lot of these mistakes could be similar for you too. Okay, so I have this mistake that comes up a lot and it's completely understandable that these words are confused because even Google Translate is confused. I went on Google Translate and I wrote efficient or effective and the result I got was efficace ou efficace, the same words. I think you have the same word in French and you don't make a distinction. Maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, please explain in the comment section below. It would be great to know more about that. But Google is clearly confused and so are a lot of my students. So our objective is to try and sort that out today. So the distinction between the two, efficient, is a word which focuses on resources. Okay, if you want to be efficient, then you want to do something with the limited amount of time or the limited amount of money or the limited amount of energy. Okay, you're focused on the resources. For example, modern cars are more fuel efficient than old cars. This means that they use less fuel to do the same job. And on the other hand, effective, this is a word which focuses on the result. So if something is more effective than something else, you have a better result. Then if you want to go from A to B, then a horse is equally as effective as a car from going from A to B. You leave A and you arrive at B. Okay, you have the same result. But a car is much more efficient in terms of time, at least. Maybe not in every category, but in terms of time, it's more efficient. You save a lot of time if you go by car rather than by horse. So a good example, I think, with effective is taking antibiotics when you have a virus is not effective. Okay, there's no result. You don't have the desired result. It doesn't work, so it's not effective. Here, you can't use the word efficient because efficient means that you save some kind of resource, but here it just doesn't work. So first it has to work, it has to be effective, and then maybe you could improve the antibiotic to make it more efficient, to make it work faster. Now, let me give you some example sentences and you have to decide which one is correct. I'll give you the chance to decide before I give you the answer. So I'll give you three examples in total. Okay, in this light, the camera is more efficient or effective if you use the flash. Which one do you think is correct? Okay, the answer is effective. Okay, we have a better result. You have a better photograph at the end if you use the flash. It's not more efficient. It doesn't use less energy or less time. Okay, so the word efficient here, it's incorrect. It's completely wrong. The second example, okay, this style of decoration is simple, but efficient or effective. Okay, we focused on the resources, on the result. Okay, with decoration, what we're interested in is the result. So effective is the correct answer. Okay, and then finally, example three, the new e-banking smartphone application is an efficient or effective way to check your balance. Now here, I'd prefer the word efficient because you save time. You don't need to, like in the past, go into the town, go into the bank in order to ask them how much money you had in your account. Instead, it's efficient because you're at home, you have your telephone, you quickly check and you have the result. But the result is the same. It's equally as effective. You have the same information if you go into town and go into the bank as you do if you check on your phone. These processes are equally effective, but not equally efficient. 
So, I hope that's cleared things up for you and not made it uh, even more confusing. As always, if you can like, subscribe, share this video with family and friends, that would be great. I'll be back in the future with more commonly confused words. This is just the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot more for us to discover. So, thanks for your time, thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.